ಘೋಬ್ರಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಬ್ರಕಾಲರು ರಸ್ತ್ರೆ ಬರುಹದ ಸ್ತ್ರೇ ಬರು ಸೋಲ ಬರ ಜೇ ಬರು ಕತ್ರ ಬರ जिसने आसमान धरती बनाए ईमान लाता हूं मैं तुझ पे मसीहा तुझ पर ईमान उसकी आत्मा यहां पे मंडरा रहा है उसकी आत्मा तेरे परिवार में मंडरा रहा है वो परमेश्वर का पवित्र आत्मा तेरे दिल में मंडरा रहा है वो परमेश्वर का पवित्र आत्मा तेरे घर में मंडरा रहा है यदि तू आज कहेगा है परमेश्वर मेरे जो आत्मा अंधपन में जा रहा है उसको उजाले पर लेकर है प्रभु यदि तू कह रहा है आज परमेश्वर मेरी आत्मा गुंगा और बहरा हो गया है उसको सुनाने के लिए बना दे प्रभु यदि तू कह रहा है कि परमेश्वर मैं एक लंगड़े की तरह मैं बैठ चुका हूं मगर आज परमेश्वर तुझे उठाने जा रहा है उसकी स्तुति करो हाल लू द लॉर्ड उसकी स्तुति करो आज से थे हो आत्मा मंडर था से थे बर वो आत्मा मंडेरा था फिर एक बार आत्मा मंडेरा था पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरा था आत्मा मंडेरा था पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरा था कम ऑन हाल लोया हम नाचेंगे गाएंगे परमेश्वर की स्तुति करेंगे आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता बेंती कोष के दिन समान आत्मा मंडेरता बेंती कोष के दिन समान आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता 
पैंती कोष के दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता पैंती कोष के दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता आंदे देखते गुंगे बोलते आंदे देखते गुंगे बोलते यीशु मसीह के नाम से आंदे देखते यीशु मसीह के नाम से गुंगे बोलते आंदे देखते गुंगे बोलते आंदे देखते गुंगे बोलते यीशु मसीह के नाम से आंदे देखते यीशु मसीह के नाम से गुंगे बोलते आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडरता आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को उसके दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को उसके दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता लंगड़े चलते बैरे सुनते लंगड़े चलते बैरे सुनते यीशु मसीह के नाम से लंगड़े चलते यीशु मसीह के नाम से बैरे सुनते लंगड़े चलते बैरे सुनते लंगड़े चलते बैरे सुनते यीशु मसीह के नाम से लंगड़े चलते यीशु मसीह के नाम से बैरे सुनते आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडरता आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को उसके दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को उसके दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है यीशु मसीह के नाम से शैतान भागता है यीशु मसीह के नाम से शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है बोलो शैतान भागता है शैतान भागता है यीशु मसीह के नाम से शैतान भागता है यीशु मसीह के नाम से शैतान भागता है आत्मा मंडरता आत्मा आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा आत्मा मंडरता पवित्र आत्मा पवित्र आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को उसके दिन समान आत्मा मंडरता पैंती को पैंती को उसके दिन समान 
आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता पैंती कोष के दिन समान 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 आत्मा मंडेरता आत्मा मंडेरता पवित्र आत्मा मंडेरता थैंक यू जीजस वी लव यू अ गॉड वी प्रोइस यू and we worship you now our god master we give you glory and honor and praise to you our name our god master we worship you god and we praise you today penti kost ke din saman atma mandirata बोलो पैंती कोष्ट के दिन समान आत्मा मंडेरता आज तेरे घर में पवित्र आत्मा मंडरा रहा है यीशु का इबादत करो उसको ही मान लाओ तुम जहा भी रहेंगे उसका ही मान लाना रे ब्र से I'm in deep in love with you, God. I'm in deep in love with you, God. I'm deep in love with God. I'm in deep in love with you. I'm deep in love with you, God. I'm deep in love with you, God. Yes, Father. I'm deep in love with you. Sitting at your feet is where I want to be. I'm home when I am here with you. Ruined by your grace, enamored by your gaze. I can't resist the tenderness in you. I'm deep in love with you, Abba Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart it beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Humble and amazed that you would call my name 
I never have to search again There's a deep desire that's burning like a fire To know you as my closest friend I'm deep in love with you above Father I'm deep in love with you Lord My heart it beats for you I'm deep, deep in love with you, Lord. I'm deep in love with you, above Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. Your blood runs through my veins. My love for you is deeper than it was yesterday. I enter through the curtains, parted by your grace. Oh, oh, oh. you're the lover of my soul. You're the lover of my soul I'm deep in love with you, Lord I'm deep in love with you, Abba Father I'm deep in love with you, Lord My heart beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. I'm deep in love with you, above Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart beats for you. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart is beats for you. My heart beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. I'm deep in love with you, Abba Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart is beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart is beats for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love.
Good morning everyone. My name is Sam David and I'm here to welcome you at Conquer. I really hope you had an amazing time worshiping the Lord with us and you are super encouraged by the testimonies you heard. You know, at Conquer, every Friday night a group of us gather for a night prayer seeking the Lord. You know, on the Zoom call, the man of God shared a powerful and a prophetic word from the book of Ezekiel on the river of God, Ezekiel 47. Today's word is an excerpt from the message that was shared that night. May this word open to you a new level of understanding and grace as we get into experience this river. Let's dive in. You have to contend for this revival. You have to contend. You say, God, don't let it go past me. Lord, whatever I was 10 days ago, 5 days ago, I don't care, Father. Lord this is a new season Lord I want to be part of this revival that you are doing Lord I'm telling you believe God believe God believe God believe God Abraham believed God he didn't work he believed God and he moved because belief brings action belief brings action belief brings action you can't go on saying I believe and don't do anything no belief brings action and if it's not bringing action then you got to do some more believing <laughs> hallelujah can i just explain to you on ezekiel 47 ezekiel 47 talks about it's a prophecy that is given to israel it's also talking about the 1000 years when jesus will come and reign but there are some principles that ezekiel discovers concerning the river of god Can we look into that? There are some principles about this how you get to becoming the river. And I pray God it will bless us all. There are some principles that we can learn. Amen. The first part. There's a stream from the threshold of the temple that becomes a raging river. And this growth of this river can i tell you it reveals the stages of our christian journey with god so this growth of this river how many of you know that this river didn't become a river if you read ezekiel 47 it first starts as a stream and then it comes to your ankles then to your knees then to your waist and, and then it becomes a raging river now you cannot you cannot walk in it you have to swim in it hallelujah the growth of that river talks about the stages of your christian journey yes your christian journey what is the water to the ankles you know many of us many of us are with water at the ankles you know what water of the ankles signify it means your first encounter with the lord the day you step into salvation many made that decision and they received and became sons of god but do you know there's a problem with water at the ankles when water is at the ankles many people can decide to go at the bank instead of continuing in the river why because it's just at the ankle people see more of you because the water is only of the ankle are you listening to me people see more of you because the water is only at the ankle so if you walked in the at juhu beach or if you walked in you know anywhere in the sea you've noticed that when the water is at your ankle people see you right because it's your just in ankle feet water but now he talks about water coming to the knees this is the deeper water this is where people now they go beyond their comfort zone beyond their comfort zone they begin to feel the effects of the power of the river remember they have still not surrendered completely to the river because now it is to the knees you know when people walk 
how many of you uh have gone to the river or gone to the sea and just folded your pants up you know you put your 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 clothes up and you allow the water to come to your knees you know those are the you know what <laughs> those are people who want to enjoy the sea but keep their clothes clean they are not ready to go for a swim they are ready to say god i want both worlds enjoyment still i want to enjoy little wetting but i also want to go and enjoy the dry land are you listening water to the knees again i'm not putting you down if you are at the water of the knees but can i tell you there's another deeper level there's another deeper level so there are many christians who have started with ankle and after some years you know they came to knee deep but remember knee deep christians are still they look at the river they get time to time encounters with god but they are still not ready to get fully wet why mam pro sa karana yan there but again if you have to walk in the waters with to your knees do you know people who are at their knees water with to their knees they have a strong prayer life so so let's give that to all the people who have water up to their knees okay but can i tell you something prayer is not enough you can't go on praying and not moving into deep waters i pray that i'm telling you i've been talking to the lord and the lord is saying redeem time redeem time you know what is redeem time for some of you you need to get a small bible which fits in the palm of your hands it should take away your phone and the bible should come in your hand and you should start redeeming time 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes any time you get get into the word get into the river get into the river it's not enough for you to say god i read your word jesus didn't say my sheep read my word jesus said my sheep hear my voice did you get it did jesus say my sheep read my word or did he say to my sheep hear my voice say that there's deeper waters to go now comes waters to the loin and if you look in ezekiel chapter 47 verse 4 and he measured 1000 and again brought me through the waters the waters came up to my knees again he measured 1000 now it's come to the knees again he measured 1000 and brought me through the water and the water came up to my waist now the water is up to my waist you know your waist speaks of your strength and power your loins those who have waded those who go into deep waters waist deep waters they are in a very strong relationship with jesus even though half of their body is above the water do you know they are at tipping point how many of you have been in waist deep waters you know when you are in waist deep waters now you begin to feel the current now you begin to feel the current now you know when people look at you they can only see half of you they can you know when you were in your ankle deep they saw only you now they can't see half of you why the spirit has taken over half ranto mo bro shataya kando ze pronti and there in ama oh i'm telling you i'm telling you this this part half is very critical because it is one step your one step to being carried by the river now it's very very important when you are waist deep in the river
ro cabra i pray i pray god you're receiving insight right now you're receiving where you are right now on your river listen no matter where you are even if your anchor journey you can make it to being carried by the river i'm telling you in times of revival can i speak to, i spoke this to our children i don't know whether all of them understood it but let me say this to you you're speaking you're listening to a man who has been carried by the wife i was caught up with the lord for i don't know 3 to 6 months didn't know what was food didn't know what was anything it was just heaven on earth but when you're caught up like that you don't look for a river you become the river you no longer can drive anything you are driven you can't drive you can you can say i want to go here no now it's not i can go here there is no more will left you can just come out of 3 hours of prayer and god can drive you back and you'll be in another 4 hours of prayer are you listening i jesus how many of you want that listen guys i'm telling you you'll need a talking snake to get you out of what i'm telling you you need the flesh so strong to say i don't know what he's saying this guy is i don't is he, is he does he know what he's saying 3 hours 4 hours <laughs> i'm telling you you laugh forget 3 hours 4 hours i'm talking about 24 hours <laughs> 24 hours 24 hours your parents will freak your friends will freak but if they touch you fire will come out of you your body will be on electricity it will be running with a different blood i'm talking about revival i'm telling you unimaginable stuff happens in revival acceleration 20 years that the devil took away from you in one moment it will be given back to you run to mobroya this is what happens in revival listen it's not something you can manage you can't control revival do you understand you can't say i'm going to take three songs and four songs that we are going to preach you can't control there's no one who controls revival it's the spirit of god that is in charge you just get a chance to swim in it amen listen i know people's backs coming out plates flying out needles i mean uh, bones straighten up years of hereditary disease eyeballs come into place skull damage being restored organs being regenerated mental problems disappearing in a second in revival you don't even have to pray you just enter in that atmosphere and it's finished it's over it's done that's the river that's the river that's the river and that's the river that you and i have to become where were we at which place we were at the waste and he says again he measured 1000 and brought me through the river and it came up to my waist how many of you know that when you are at your waist level and you look back and you look at all your friends and they are playing at ankle deep level ah uh, <laughs> right now half of the church is playing in ankle deep water they are not sold out for jesus but i pray god i'm speaking to people who are fully blown out for jesus whatever they are doing they know it's just a by product the main menu is jesus the main menu is jesus the main menu is jesus your job is a side dish whatever you're doing is a side dish the main menu is jesus lord father you told abraham father to the man who believe god and does not work you credited to him his righteousness through faith lord i pray lord we believe lord that we are the end time generation who will see you face to face who will carry your spirit into deep waters Ran to mobro sakari enterna la yetro me arishtumbe akarna yetere yesu prayo. 
la cruterna mamus atoli and the lord let the lights of this world go dim let the light of your father the father of heavenly lights let him shine on our lives lord some of you i see your your phones being replaced by a leather bible in your hand that is your food that is your water that is your drink i'm telling you as much as you can stay in the word you're supplying your spirit man food for the river remember jesus word is spirit and life but the heart at which we, you seek will make sure that the voice in the word will speak let me say that once again the heart with which you read the word of god and you seek him will cause that word to open up and speak to you i know many people who read the word and they come up with theories say not me lord when i hear, read your word i want to hear your voice speak to me in a way that is never spoken yes 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 volumes i have come to do your will which is written in the volume of the books your life and my life is hidden and written in the volume of the books lord let those books be open lord your spirit of wisdom and revelation that we may know you better open the eyes of our heart Ephesians chapter 1 the whole chapter i want you to read it over and over again until you memorize it completely until you know it line by line make that your prayer for the next 30 days i keep asking the god of my father the heavenly father he may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation that you may know him better that the eyes of your heart might be enlightened to the hope that which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance which is in the saints and his incomparable power to those who believe i want to i want you to make this prayer keep praying it keep praying it say god you said to pray do you know paul after writing all the books of the bible after having all the encounters with god In the book of Ephesians he's asked to make a prayer and do you know this is his prayer Do you know what he's praying after having all the encounters being transported to heaven and back getting the gospel getting revelation so deep this is his prayer His prayer is not that you get power not that you see signs and wonders but that you may know him better that your eyes may be opened to see what God has already done not what he's going to do This is this is so important. Do you know what happens in revival? Your eyes are opened. It's not that God is doing a new thing. God's not doing anything new. He's opening your eyes to show you what you've never seen. And it was always staring at you. Just think about it for a second. Everybody wants to see something new, and that's where we fail. Say God, open my eyes. to help me see what i cannot see to help me learn what i cannot learn. to help me understand the riches of your glorious inheritance which is in the saints the riches of the glorious inheritance in the saints it's not out of the saints it's in the saints and his incomparable power to those who believe Oh Lord make me a believer once again Lord. I decree supernatural encounters for you this week in Jesus mighty name for the seekers for the hungry for the thirsty for the ones who are ready to go deep for the ones who are waist deep your friends are calling you remember when you go how many of you remember when you go waist deep what does your f- people do they say hey 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 hey, hey. come back you're going in uncharted waters listen don't you remember when you go way steep everybody tells you come back come back why because they are standing in shallow water they want you where they are 
they don't want you they cannot handle a person who they cannot control oh my god he khara no sure ye ke i'm telling you the minute i got caught up with god i had friends of job visit me to tell me that how i cannot live this life the way i'm living it you know how i was living life i was being driven by the holy spirit and everybody came to tell me you know at that time i never had a father i never had somebody who could tell me what to do i i i learned through hard lessons because there was nobody to counsel me sons listen to me don't let this pass you by god has set us up and brought us into the stream so that we can catch and we can go in the river so that no lying snake no controlled person can come and tell you that you cannot live this life walking with Jesus they'll always tell you they'll always tell you when you're moving closer to the you're losing it you're losing come back come back come back come back come back to the fold do you know you don't have to get mad to find Jesus You know, there are many people who do mad things oh no 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 god is not listen i don't want you to do anything mad okay i don't want you to go on a 40 day fast when god has not told you that is called madness i want you to be driven by the holy spirit that means you don't set up challenges this is not a challenge god is not here to see how much you can give him if that was the case he would have told you okay let you why don't you start doing things and once you fill you know this balance and and it fully goes up that's the time i'm going to visit you no god made sure that the scales were already filled up with his son's glory so that as you believe you can be partakers of that nature i hope you're listening very carefully i'm giving you lessons which i cannot explain now but it has saved me literally from death I can tell you that when you see people swimming in the waist deep water people will always come and say listen you can't live this life you can't live this who's going to take care of you how oh, when you're carried by the holy spirit you don't need anybody to take care of you hey they will come and put their house money in front of you and they'll say do the lord's work here it is do you know our god is the one who brings hands to help you our god is the one who sends helpers our god is the one who builds this kingdom do you think our god lacks anything he lacks nothing you will lack nothing you will lack nothing so we see a person in waist deep water I hope you are able to connect as I'm speaking. So we have knee, we have ankle, we have knee, and all of these are representative of the Christian life. Each people in the church are at different levels. Some like the ankle. Some have progressed to knee deep water. Some are at the waist. Now, look what he says. in verse 5 47:5 and again he measured again he measured 1000 and it was a river that i could not cross for water was too deep water in which one must swim a river that could not be crossed listen now you can't walk in this water there is no way you can walk in this water the only way you can survive is you must swim <laughs> ah now they don't see you now nobody sees you now you're in the river then he said to me son of man have you seen this then he bought me and returned me to the bank of the river can i tell you this at this point you and the river become one now the river carries you you don't get to tell the how many of you know that when you're in a river the current takes you places that's when you and the river become one now it's no more 
God comes to you and says, Ananias, Ananias, I want you to go and lay hands on a man who's killing people right now. He says, no, 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 Lord, I'm not going to go to that fellow. He's so bad. He's the RSS chief. He says, no, 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 no. He's going to be my vessel. Go and lay hands on him. Hallelujah. River, Ranto Zopro Yanta. Now God's voice carries you. Oh, talk to me, talk to me. Is this, is this, <laughs> is this helping you? Listen, I'm telling you, this is your life. This is my life. This is our life in Conquer Church. Come on, Conquer Church. This is how you conquer. You don't conquer by getting smart. You conquer by being carried by the river. Now the river carries you. You cannot walk in these waters. This is where everything of the world means nothing to you. I'm telling you, they'll come and they'll show you their cars and they'll show you their position and they'll show you their money. They say, Tere paas kya hai? That time you can get up and say, I am the river. <laughs> Jesus, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I can already see many of you. You are going to be carried by the river. Yes, the Lord will accomplish this by his mighty right arm. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord will accomplish this. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, people who walk in, who are carried by the river, what characteristics they have? Number one. They are totally dependent on the Lord. They don't do things on their own. Now, three people call them. They don't go. Because God never told them. Now they are sent. They are not went. They are not people who go. They are people who are sent. Philip, I need you to go to that one person. But I got an invitation for 200 people. No, I need you to go one person. Because that one person is going to bring a great revival in another land. And you need to go and bring this river to him. Are you listening? That is so important. I'm telling you, that's so important to be sent and not just go. That's why I love my father, my God, my God. <laughs> I love him. I love him because he sent. And that's why he'll offend many people. People who are sent, remember this, they will offend many people. You know why? Because they'll never give you what you want. You know why? Because they are sent people. They are not people who can do anything without the word coming to them. So you may feel very sorry and say, My God, so much that person did, that pastor is not taking notice. You don't understand. There is something that you can't see that has to break. You know, people get excited with people coming. Oh, that person has been so faithful for one year, two years. And then we start getting expectations. I'm telling you, drop all your expectations from today. Say, God, I have no expectations from you. I'm your son. Sons don't have expectations. Servants have. Servants have a lot of expectations. You know why? They come with a salary. Sons know the inheritance is theirs. Sons know. Sons know. Sons know. That's why Jesus, do you know, he doesn't take somebody else's inheritance and gives us. He gives us his own inheritance. Because he's a son. He's very comfortable in sharing his throne, his seat with you. Because he's a son. But he knows that no servant can come and sit on that seat. Only a son will get to sit on it. So I want you to decide what you are. 
Oh my ay yeah, ay yeah, ay yeah, ay yeah, ay yeah. I'm telling you speaking to somebody it's hitting you like a bolt right now Shambro ya thakam jai You have to come to a point where all your expectations are broken As long as you have expectations from men you will always be one sorry customer in the kingdom of God sons to sons belong inheritance That's why God told Abraham very clearly listen the son from your slave I'll bless him and what was Moses what was Abraham's request oh lord let him live before you let him live before you what did God say he said no I'll bless him I hope you got that please read the King James version many versions say differently this is what King James no I'll bless him. Do you know there are many people in the kingdom who love the blessing? But then God says something amazing. He says, "Listen. I'll bless Ishmael because he's your seed. He came from your body, even though he's your own troubling mistake." But he says, "Listen. Something that is coming out of your body, I'm going to get into a covenant with." Now you understand? He says a son coming out from your body I am going to get into a covenant with because God doesn't get into covenant with sons of slaves because no matter what you do you still think like one we have to come out of it you have to get out of God what's in it for me God this God that God no you have to come to a point and say God I'm way deep now carry me Lord there's nothing left Ah, I've tasted too much. I've seen your goodness, Lord. I've seen the other side. Now, what is left, Lord? If you give me a little food from a raven and one bread, I'm more than happy. <laughs> That's it. You'll be celebrating. You know, kings they go to banquets and they eat in the biggest hotels. Yet none of them has a testimony that a raven who eats all her food had to. literally we thought table manners and the raven had to come and feed you and you'll think oh my god but what 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 testimony is that a raven came and fed you he said hey this ain't no any raven this was a raven sent by my father hallelujah it's equal to 40 dinners at the hyatt when you know that your food is coming fully cooked even though the messenger carrying it may be a black raven but that raven had to come that's god ah oh, listen that's 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 god here that's the joy of our god that's when you that's when the guy at the hayat is looking at you and saying everything i'm doing right now i worked for it but this guy is done nothing yet there's a father in heaven who's feeding him I need 10 doctors to keep me alive. This guy needs nobody. There's something within him. I fall sick, he doesn't. Oh, ma braya khazu praya the. Say jump in the river. So what was I telling you? The life of a person who is wants to be carried by the river. Number 1 is what? He's depending slow solely on what to carry him. He's depending on what to carry him. The river the river has to carry him otherwise he's going to he can't move the river has to carry him he's dependent on god he's dependent on his life is dependent on god if he's here today he's blessing god if he's not here today he's blessing god wherever the wind carries him wherever the river carries him he's there number 2 he has surrender he has surrender why because you don't see him anymore you only see the river on him now you don't see him he is quite happy with you talking behind his back in front of him all around him he's quite happy with you not liking him he's not worried about you he has another voice that speaks to him i'm telling you when you decide to walk with god you'll be amazed the very people who claim they love you they'll come to give you such beautiful advice and they cannot understand you you know why 
because people the carnal man cannot understand the spiritual it's just as simple as that they cannot and even if you try to explain it once born cannot explain to twice born amen you can't be once born and tell somebody twice born how to live life because they just you know you're from below and they are from above you must be very careful when you're in this you know what i'm i'm giving you some i'm not giving you everything okay but i can give you the mistakes that i made and i will make sure that you'll never make it that's why i think god kept me here i cried and i've cried to god so many years finally i see revival come again now we must not miss it amen amen listen these are timings in your life you cannot ask for it if you mishandle it now if you don't keep yourself in the right position if you don't believe what i'm telling you i'm telling you it will pass over you i'm here to tell you that this revival is true many men of god not just my father many men of god all around the world are telling you it can happen suddenly at least the people i see you know on this call i see that you have been dedicated you have you have stayed on and god has been good and kind and he has strengthened you not that you would have fallen long time ago but god strengthened you i know it in my spirit he strengthened you you know there's a verse in the bible to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you blameless before the father to him be all the glory and the honor we give god all the glory because we cannot keep ourselves we are entrusting our lives to god and we believe he will keep us from falling hallelujah jesus thank you thank you for your children lord thank you lord thank you lord all around the world men and women are crying out father we want to experience you we want the wind to carry us we want the water to carry us you know i was just thinking how many of you um you know pastor kim had this so girls and many of you were there and she was explaining about abraham and why she was explaining the lord just took me into another dimension while she was speaking and uh, we see that god called abraham after he gave him all these promises he finally told him now take your son your only begotten son wow man i can speak on that one word <laughs> you don't understand how much i sought the lord on that one word to give me understanding but well, let me hold it your only begotten son go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering and you know the story abraham does it goes to do it the angel stops him and everything happens and i was thinking god that was just mind blowing i mean can you just think of isaac's state while he was over there and his father was going to kill him I mean for the rest of his life Isaac if his father ever told him Isaac you want to come for a walk Isaac would have said no dad you go God knows what God will tell you now yeah we are not going for it This was what I always thought I thought Isaac for the rest of his life if his father ever said son let's go for a walk he says no dad you you <laughs> I'm staying with mama you stay you go you go God knows where you'll sacrifice me one on one more test of your of your of your god whom you serve but do you know i used to think like that now but my thinking got changed on when the lord spoke to me he said that was not isaac state at all in fact this is what i heard in the spirit the lord say isaac got born again on that altar the old man died and a new isaac had got birthed on that altar This is this is what happens guys this is what happens on the altar and if you read hebrews he tells you if you go to hebrews he tells you there very clearly that isaac was received back from the dead as though being received back from the dead do you know when you got born again somebody died and a new man came so what actually happened on that altar you know what isaac never was the same 
now if dad had to tell him isaac come he was running he said dad any mountain <laughs> because what happened on that mountain on that altar i thought i was going to die but look at me i'm living this is what exactly happens in revival you think you're going to lose your whole life but this is exactly what jesus said when you lose it you find it and if you try to keep it you lose it did you get it listen i'm telling you isaac got born again he was never the same and i can tell you why because after that encounter now abraham now isaac is faced with his wife and his wife is barren do you know everyone whom god called had something barren abraham had barren sarah isaac had barren rachel jacob had barren sorry isaac had barren rebecca and jacob had barren rachel but look at isaac now isaac makes one prayer and rebecca's womb is open come on <laughs> did you get that did you get that one prayer one prayer look at that offered up his only begotten son Abraham had two sons, right? Why is he saying he offered his only begotten son? You got the question, right? It's written very clearly. What offered up his second son? No, only begotten son. You know why? Because the word begotten has two primary definitions. It means pertaining to being the only one of its kind within a specific relationship. very important the word is monogenes if you look up the hebrew word it's monogenes begotten pertaining to being the only one of its kind within a specific relationship and we know that abraham didn't have a relationship with hagar he just removed a child out of her but you know what begotten means begotten means out of a very specific relationship god brings out something this i hope you get it. oh my god <laughs> do you know what begot do you know you are begotten because it's out of a relationship that god brings out something it's not a one time stand Abraham and Hagar had a one night stand and a son came out that was not begotten begotten is monogenes it means pertaining to being the only one of its kind but within a specific relationship the second definition is pertaining to being the only one of its kind or class unique in kind that means begotten means you're bringing up something in a class of its own Uh, and it has to come out of a specific relation it can't be slave and owner there is no relationship there is only you know one of up uh, you know superiority and inferiority but out of a specific that's why god was going on telling him listen i'm bringing something but it's not going to come out through any kind of relation i'm going to bring out something out of your life through a special relationship of intimacy with me So if you are trying to birth something that is not coming out of intimacy or you're trying to perform something that's not out of intimacy with God forget it it will be another Ishmael and you will come to God and say please bless it because you knew, he knew do you know when God called him out and told him I'm going to make your descendants like the stars Abraham knew at that moment that he had his monogenes <laughs> had bought out something out of another relationship it was not birthed within the parameter that's why marriage is so important that's why god hates live in relationships that's why god will hold the adulterer accountable that's why god says never sons never fool never fool with a woman who of adultery don't go that way don't go in her bed it will be a bed of coals you'll go straight to hell how many men have messed their lives by looking at something they has not meant to look at and i'm not just saying okay i'm not putting down women in any way okay there are men also 
was equally adulterous but say thank you jesus can you say i'm telling you don't ever think that we are so holy huh? please i want to tell you there is such unholiness in your flesh it is only the spirit of god that is keeping you away from the things of this world otherwise you and i would be that drunkard on the road can i have a big amen of gratefulness to the spirit within us it is the lord god who has called us and kept us and bought us thus far and will take us even further in jesus name don't for a second look at people and say how bad they are look and say my god how great you are because i could be worse than them given the right circumstances i'm telling you it's only a matter of circumstances people can do anything but a man filled with the spirit of god cannot do everything because there's another power working inside of him yes yes god wanted to bring out a son a seed out of abraham's body okay that's why I don't birth another ishmael read your bible it is very clear what does he come abraham knew when god told him i'll make your seed and takes him out and shows him the stars he immediately he goes running to god and says god please let ishmael live abraham just knew it he knew god's heart he knew that he had birthed something that god according to god that was not begotten do you know why jesus called begotten now i hope you understood out of a special relationship between the word and the spirit god begot his only son <laughs> that's why jesus is so special he's begotten angels are not begotten they are created yes. do you know that you are begotten yeah that you are begotten my god that's not a small thing that's huge that's huge you know all my life i read John 3:16 and I always thought God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son No 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 I'm not talking just through his blood I'm telling you there's a scripture verse which tells you you're begotten how many of you know that scripture There's a scripture which tells you I'm not talking okay through his blood and all that is great yeah I'm telling you it's literally written How many of you know this scripture? You go to 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Ranto mo bro sa taya. Has begotten us new birth begotten the word i have here in king james new king james is begotten us out of a special relationship he's birthed something that only he could have done how many of you know that you are sons of god you know that okay so when god sent his son he was the only begotten son but do you know now he's not the only begotten son Now God has other begotten sons. God does not have a only begotten son anymore. Because he has many sons bringing many sons to glory. He is the elder brother and all of us are begotten sons after a unique kind. When God had to do his work, he bought one begotten son, but now God doesn't have one begotten son. He has sons begotten sons and you and me are part of his family come on jump shout hallelujah and begotten you know begotten is such a deep word it's not used anywhere everybody says birth this is her son he got him this begotten means out of something deep god went into the deep things and bought something out I can show it to you from the word. In Romans chapter 8 he says what those whom God foreknew he also predestined to be conformed into the likeness of his son 
who is the first born among many sons hallelujah he's the first son. he's the first born from many sons and then you look in hebrews chapter 2 he's saying bringing many sons to glory bringing many sons and who are those sons all begotten according to 1 peter chapter 1 verse 3 Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again. Do you know why it says again? <laughs> See the word of God you have to go through each line word again. Again. He had to beget you again because the first time he did it through Adam now he did it through his son Ranto Mobrosiente. You know this God he never changes that's why the bible says he never changes if he did it the first time and brought the whole universe out of one man again he is going to bring all the sons out of one man but this time it's not an ordinary man it's a begotten son that's why you are a begotten son again yes 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 celebrate celebrate now god has many sons Wow, I can't even begin to think that blows my mind, God. I mean, would you even give us your seat, your throne? And God is not ashamed to call you his brothers. He's not. That's the whole plan. God wants you to rule and reign just as his son. And if he have wants you to rule and reign as his son, do you think that he can give you less power than his son? No, I believe he's given us all power and authority. so that we can rule and reign like his son on the earth god said i'll bless ishmael there's no problem with giving him lot of money making him strong making him a ruler making him 12 tribes no problem but he said there was one problem my covenant i will establish only with mono genes come on somebody shout amen i will only establish it out with a begotten son are there some begotten sons on the call shout amen come on shout amen all the begotten sons covenant sons god has got into a covenant with you because you are begotten you know god knew what he was doing He said listen and that's why there are so many people who would rather choose the blessing. You know what's the blessing? You'll be a king, you'll be very wealthy, you'll be the tribe, you'll be the ruler. But then after all that you have to read on. He says you'll be like an ass of a donkey. <laughs> you'll be fighting with all your brothers. But to covenant sons there is peace like a river. you will be carried like a river your descendants will be blessed you wherever you go healing will be in your wings don't ever look for riches i spoke to you last time about some i think the 67 about admiring the riches this is what riches are many people are running after it and they think they are blessed listen god gave blessings to ishmael and he after that he said he is going to be an ass of a donkey fighting with everybody But he said, "Listen, my covenant I will establish with Isaac, a begotten son, someone who is ready to believe me that I can bring out something out of a dead body." Come on, it's time. Some of you said, "I am dying to myself," because God can bring out something out of a dead man. He can bring something that will fill the stars of heaven. The last point of in the river is sanctification when that man is carried by the river his life is sanctified to god he is completely carried by the river means you're completely drenched you're not with party clothes coming to you know put your feet in knee deep water and you pull your pants over and after you enjoyed the church you're going to go back to your old life just pull the pull the pants down put on the jacket the shine the gray bands and start dancing to all worldly tunes no 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 the sign of a man who's ready to be carried by the river is thrown his old clothes out he's like god i want your robe of righteousness i'm going to walk with you you know i said it at the beginning many people say i love you lord but very few are ready to walk with him 
because walking means you can't get ahead of him you can't stay behind of him you have to go along with him and i believe that's why jesus came to walk and make his bride walk alongside that's what a bride does right do you see the bride walking behind the bridegroom no she walks hand in hand jesus came so that you can walk with him not encounter him on a sunday and then live monday to saturday with your own ways no he's here so that you can walk to walk with jesus means you are with him every step that means if he's at a place you are at that place if he's at a location you are there can we give the lord a big hand can we just love him thank god for these words this has come from the father to many of you god wants to bring us into a river and so he'll bring the word to change us amen he'll bring the word to change us thank you jesus thank you jesus can i end with a prayer father i just thank you lord you're working in their hearts in a way that only you know father i thank you lord that they are being strengthened that the enemy's lies that they have been hearing all their life is being broken down that revival shall we be and lord and swim shall we go god and be carried by your river oh god that's what we are living for lord we have lost taste for this world is nothing more lord oh we've seen your glory lord now show us more of your glory father show us more of your glory i bless your people in jesus mighty name thank you